Phillips at Washington International School. So we all know where you are, little dot near the eastern seaboard, and here's the path of totality, and at one part of the afternoon it will come fairly close to uh, Washington DC. So you have to be really careful. Uh, you can pause all of these to read all of them, uh, but you have to block the sun out of your eyes when you're looking towards it. Solar eclipse glasses block all but three thousandth of the light. So sunglasses, other filters don't work. Sometimes uh, some types of welding glasses do, but not all of them. So read more about this. It damages uh, the sensitive cells of uh, photoreceptor ones on your retina. You don't feel any pain. You just damage them with continued looking at the sun. So some videos from the last eclipse, they're perhaps worth looking at, and what you will see on Monday, wearing uh, safe eclipse glasses, uh, the moon just starting, it's called first contact, but nothing touches the sun, or indeed the moon. And there are three types of eclipse, total, partial, annular. The total eclipse is when you're in that line of totality and the moon blocks all the sunlight coming towards you. Partial uh, solar eclipse is what we will see uh, and the moon doesn't cover the whole sun, just a percentage. Annual eclipse, you see a ring of the sun and because the moon is a constant distance from the sun, uh, when it's uh, uh, further away from the Earth, you get an annular eclipse instead. And here are some pictures of total, partial and annular eclipse. And another uh, reminder about wearing the correct eclipse glasses have to have the correct ISO number on them. And to check your sunglasses, uh, your eclipse glasses work, not sunglasses. Uh, don't check with the sun. Uh, there's a video there that tells you how to do that. Scratch glasses damage your eyes. A uh, little more information here. Don't look at the sun through camera, binoculars, telescopes. Ouch. And even with a 99% partial eclipse, the tiny portion of the sun is still intense enough to cause a retinal burn when you're looking straight at the sun. And here are some descriptions, not to scale, showing total eclipse when the moon shadow uh, is directly over the earth, blocking the whole of the sun. And that's called the umbra, and to the side you get part shadow, penumbra, and that's what we'll see in Washington DC. And you can pause this to look at some of the dist distances multiple times. Uh, 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 the moon is uh, compared to the earth and the sun. Again, not to scale. So one earth diameter, distance of moon to earth, 30 Earth diameters, distance of Earth to Sun is nearly 12,000 Earth diameters. And a reminder here that it's uh, moving across the United States because of the Earth's rotation and the Earth's orbit of the Sun and indeed the Moon orbiting. Uh, pause this one uh, to look at how uh, the eclipses have been shown in uh, different diagrams, which works best for you, because there'll be one there that uh, shows it uh, that you relate to more. And going back to what 
we will see, got the part, path of totality, a little string of beads going from, well, Pacific uh, across uh, Mexico and off into Canada, and then nighttime, and of course you won't see it. Um, and so everywhere in the US will experience a partial eclipse, but different percentages of the sun will be covered. And here's another diagram with some um, towns on it. And I think Carbondale's near where they experienced totality in 2017, when the path of totality stayed within the US and went west coast to east coast. Mm -hmm. um, and here are the percentage totalities, mm -hmm. and we're between 85 and 90 percent to the east of the strip of totality. Um, so they're saying about 90, uh, 89 percent. Uh, a lot of the uh, sun will be will be covered, and it will affect the light that we can see. And for a full tour of the eclipse map. Um, you can see the video at that link there. And a reminder that uh, you're getting total eclipse when the Earth is closer to the Sun. So you can look at that one and uh, see where the shadows go. Uh, you can make a handheld eclipse viewer. Um, I use my shredded wheat box, so um, I'm ready with mine, uh, but you still can't look at the sun. Your back of your head has to be towards the sun. You're facing away, looking through uh, the cutout uh, viewing space on this di uh, diagram here to the right of the box, and the sunlight goes through a pinhole, tiny hole in aluminum foil, and it helps if you put white paper at, at the bottom of your box. And um, to do uh, uh, activity where you're looking at the scale of the Earth, Moon, Sun, uh, here's a link to it. And a couple of slides showing historical views uh, as they were perceived and drawn. And look at those and see which ones actually uh, are useful from uh, centuries ago. A uh, little bit of a uh, looking at word meanings here um, and you can pause and do that one. Uh, a composite picture that I really like um, and this was in the 2017 eclipse um, just showing uh, how the moon actually blocked out the sun and got to totality. Uh, so here's one taken in space with 89% uh, partial percentage and that's about what we'll see but it's a much clearer crisper picture um, than you'll get if you've got a, uh, a, a filter uh, for the eclipse for your camera. Uh, you can damage lenses if you're pointing and taking videos for a long while uh, without a filter. Uh, and a 14% view. And this one said it was 81% in Alexandria. Uh, and taken, it says every 10 minutes, um, but um, our from first contact for, to when uh, the moon won't be seen again on the sun is really over two hours and you really really don't want to be looking even through eclipse glasses for that period of time. So uh, here you are you can read this one and uh, pause it to get all of the information. So here's the timing for uh, Wiss Red Devils. Any time from 2 p.m. onwards, the moon will start to block the sun. Uh, the maximum at 3.20.
and it'll probably look like dusk and the whole mm -hmm. uh, the moon will have passed from in front of uh, the sun uh, by about 4.30. So please be safe. Uh, turn away from your the sun to put your glasses on, to take them off um, and uh, enjoy the experience. And you guys may see another one in 2044. Enjoy.